I'm Tom Heller, Executive Director of Climate Policy Initiative, which serves as the Secretariat for the Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance. And I'm Barbara Buchner, I'm Senior Director of Climate Policy Initiative, and I am managing the Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance. As nations work to address climate change, access to finance has emerged as a critical element. Enough capital exists to move the world on a low-carbon, climate-resilient economy. However, current investments in climate-friendly development falls far short of the need. This is particularly true in developing countries, which are often unable to attract private investment to low-carbon and climate-resilient activities at the scale needed to reach their emissions and energy access goals. As we move toward and beyond Paris this year, the need for action is on the ground. The Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance addresses these challenges by identifying, developing, stress testing and launching cutting-edge climate finance instruments. The lab brings together high-level members from the public and private sectors and by drawing on the experience of its membership and the climate finance community at large, it moves quickly from talk to action. In just over a year of operation, the lab has launched four climate finance instruments that have collectively already raised nearly 200 million US dollars in initial funding. These initiatives include, first, Climate Investor One, or formerly known as the Climate Development and Finance Facility, which will fast-track renewable energy projects in developing countries. Second, the Agricultural Supply Chain and Adaptation Facility, which will partner with agribusiness companies to help local farmers make climate-resilient agriculture investments. Third, the Energy Savings Insurance, which will ensure the value of savings generated by energy efficiency investments. And fourth, the Long-Term Foreign Exchange Risk Management Instrument, which will provide the tools to address both currency and interest rate risks related to climate-relevant projects in developing countries. The lab and its initiative have been endorsed by the G7. If they're piloted and replicated at scale, they have the potential to unlock billions of climate finance in and for developing countries. Building on the success of the first year, the lab has launched a second cycle and is also working to expand into India. And we are looking forward to the next generation of instruments that can make an impact on the ground. We have launched a call for ideas for the second cycle. We're looking for ideas to scale up climate finance in mitigation and adaptation. We will use a similar set of selection criteria as for the first cycle, which includes assessing ideas for their actionability, their catalytic and transformative potential, and finally, their innovation. The funds are out there, but they're not flowing. To unlock finance at scale, we need ideas and instruments that come from people who face and understand these difficulties in practice. Ideas that are then vetted and crafted by experts in the financial community. And we need to move quickly.